Over the past year, the government have made lots of changes to education and the way that we assess our pupils. You will have been used to hearing from school that Tommy has achieved a level 3A, Hannah could get a level 4A, or that Miss Barr has almost a level 5C. At Cattlethorpe High School, we have been working hard to make sure that we have a clear system of ensuring that your child is making progress. If your child starts Kettlethorpe High School after September 2016, these phrases about assessment levels which you have been used to hearing will change. This system is gradually being phased out and replaced with one that is clearer for you to understand. Kettlethorpe High School has decided to use a system of assessment from Year 7 called Progression Scales. This system has been created by a nationally recognised examination board by experts who are skilled in looking at the progress required of pupils in all subjects to achieve well when they leave school. This system also allows us to accurately test your child and use this information alongside key stage two results and our own assessment. This will give us a secure benchmark for your child when they start at Kethorpe High School. From this benchmark, we will accurately measure progress for each individual child, no matter what their starting point. Pupils will continue to make progress over time using the new system. The progression scale is a tool for teachers that tracks your child's progress throughout Key Stage 3. It is made up of steps that range from 1, low, to 12, challenge. When your child enters our school, we expect that they will be somewhere around the third or fourth step. This is called the age-related expectation. Throughout year seven, eight and nine, your child will be expected to make one step of progress each year. To make it even easier for you to see the progress your child is making within each step, we have divided them into three sub-steps, A, B and C. For example, here we see that a man has been assessed at step three in maths which is close to the age-related expectation for a child at the start of year seven. We feel as though a man is absolutely confident within this step and may achieve higher. So we have assessed him at being step 3A. Amy has been assessed at step four in English, which means she is working at the age-related expectation for a child at the start of year seven. We feel as though Amy isn't quite as secure in this step so we have assessed her at being at step 4C. Tyler has been assessed at step 5 in science, which is working above the age-related expectation for a child at the start of year 7. We feel as though Tyler is secure within this step, so we have assessed him as being at step 5B. You will be kept up to date with your child's progress three times throughout the year. We would expect the following progress. Pupils making more than one step in a year are making above expected progress. Pupils making one step in a year are on track and pupils making less than one step in a year are making progress below expectations. So in the case of a man, Amy and Tyler, Tyler moved from a 5B to a 6A in science. So he has made above expected progress. A man moved from a 3A to a 4A in maths by the end of the year, so he is on track. Amy moved from a 4C to a 4A in English, so she has made below expected progress. If you would like more information or to speak to a member of teaching staff, please get in touch with us and we will be more than happy to discuss this with you.